Hello everyone, welcome to the Unplanned Way. In today's video, we will take you along to the Kana National Park which according to us is the best tiger reserve in India. We will share a safari experience, stay, booking procedure and everything else so make sure you watch the video until the very end. In our previous video, we visited the Pench National Park where we were lucky to spot a tigress and her super sweet cubs which got us very excited. If you haven't watched that video yet, the link is in the description box. Our next spot on the list was visiting the Kana National Park which is 4 hour drive from Pench. The roads are smooth and the drive is enjoyable. If you are coming from Jabalpur, it is roughly 4 hour drive to Kahna. And if you are coming from Maharashtra, you can come to Nagpur and from there you can either drive or rent a cab to reach Kahna which is about 5 to 6 hours. There are many resorts available in the area from basic to premium ones. Some are very near the Khatiya gate while some are a bit far. During the off season, you can book your stay on the spot after reaching Kana as it is readily available. You will just have to spend some time searching for hotels and negotiating the price. But if you visit in the peak season, make sure you book it well in advance as it fills up quickly. We reached a resort around 5 pm which was just 1 km away from the Khatiya gate. We had booked a stay through Make My Trip where two rooms cost us 2700 rupees. The rooms were okayish for the price we paid. Location wise, the stay was perfect. After some rest, we went out to take our dinner. Just outside the Khatiya gate, we saw a small eatery named Burman Dhapa. There were many families having dinner here, so we thought of visiting the place. It is a small restaurant run by a local family. We ordered saved tomatoes and egg burji with some plain parathas. We couldn't resist trying the aloo paratha and paneer pakoda. Aloo parathas were cooked in traditional chula which gave it a very nice tandoor like taste. Overall, the food was delicious. We enjoyed our dinner. Since the weather was super cool, they also had a bonfire set up so we spent some time there enjoying the climate and then we headed back to our resort. The next day, we had a safari early morning at 6.45. You need to report at least half an hour before. Don't forget to carry an official ID proof of all the members going to take the safari. You will have to get your permit checked and pay for the gypsy and guide fees at the counter, after which they will allot you the gypsy. Let's understand the booking process. The first step will be to visit the Madhya Pradesh government's official website and search for an available zone and slot. The link to the website is flashing on the screen. It will also be mentioned in the description box. You will then have to book a permit. The permit cost is 2500 rupees and total safari will cost you around 6500 to 7000 rupees depending on the season you are traveling. Being close to the Khatiya gate, Burman Dhaba was selling piping hot curry poha which got us tempted. We had some time before the Khatiya gate opens and we had not carried anything to eat along so we had a plate of poha with some tea. 
It was much needed in the early morning freezing weather. We will tell you the importance of having food before the gypsy safari later on in the video. Keep in mind, the earlier you go, the further ahead you will be in the gypsy queue to enter the forest. As you can see the queue of gypsies on the screen. The benefit of being the first to enter the jungle is the chance of spotting the tiger is high as the forest is silent. The tiger movement is hampered by the safari noise. Visitors can visit the park from 16th October to 30th June. Kana National Park remains closed during the monsoon season. Kana National Park has three entrance gates which are Khatia, Mukki and Sarhi Gate. Khatia Gate is the most popular gate among the three. Inside the Khatia Gate, there are divisions depending on your zone. You can choose from four core zones, Kana, Kisli, Mukki and Sarhi. Apart from this, there are four buffer zones as well. There are three safari options, morning, evening and night. The timings vary as per the season. Night safaris are only in the buffer zone. Would you like to go on a night safari? Tell us in the comments below. <laughs> The forest was very silent with less movement of animals. Even spotted deers were quite less which is quite uncommon as we have usually seen many deers in the national parks we have visited so far. Overall the jungle was very laid back.
Remember, I mentioned the importance of having breakfast before the safari earlier. So because we had poha before the safari started, when the guide and driver asked us if we wanted to take a break for breakfast, we denied it which gave us extra time to explore the jungle. Our guide and driver were very cooperative and wanted us to see the tiger so they happily skipped the break and we kept going. And after a while, we spotted the big cat. We literally couldn't believe our eyes. The jungle was so silent that we were really not expecting this miracle. But out of nowhere, a large male tiger with yellow fur and black stripes crossed our path. We almost froze for a second. The moment is forever etched in our minds and hearts. We visited Kana in January and let me tell you the weather was super cool. If you are doing a morning safari, I would suggest do not take it lightly. Make sure you are wearing enough warm clothes and layering up or at least carrying warm jackets or shawls along if needed. The last thing you would want on a safari is to be unable to enjoy it because you are frozen from the cold. If the day is bright, maybe the weather will be a little better but the day we went it was so cloudy and gloomy. The sun came out very late, almost at the end of a safari. So the entire safari, it was very chilly. Kana is very beautiful and mesmerizing with huge trees and a lot of greenery around. The fresh breeze you take in while riding the gypsy is refreshing. We are definitely going to visit Kana National Park again. And that ends a beautiful safari ride. It was almost 11 am. After coming back to the Khatiya gate, we were hungry so we decided to have brunch at the Burman Dhaba again. Clearly, we were enjoying their food. We had pakodas, alu paratha and of course the ripoha. The meal was very satisfying. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel. We will see you in our next video soon.